yes. Have I you? Can have see you? It. Have you? Have you seen this? These lads, right? They <sighs> nail their mickeys to phone boxes, mm-hmm. roll a board into cars, and brand their arse cheeks. Ah, <laughs> This is the den. It's changed over the years. No, 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 no. The, the jackasses. Ah. <laughs> do you know? I'd like to do that. I could be the wild man of belly dung, huh? Oh, wild man, is it? The wild feckin' man, huh? huh? There's only one wild man that I have any respect for. Not Derek Mooney. No, his name was Adam. And this is his story. Oh, shite. Professor Manville was the world's leading anthropologist. Jesus, that reminds me. You must give me his number. I'm having terrible problems with my septic bunions. Look, that... Uh, yeah. Anyway, he had spent his entire life and his old money inheritance on the study of the history of mankind. Oh, In fact, he was the fellow who uh, made his name after discovering the bog man of Brown Hollow. Oh, that's right. Didn't he have the brain the size of a pea and a langer the length of a hurley, huh? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the professor was just about to make the greatest discovery of his career. How they get the figs into fig rolls. <laughs> right, OK. Are you going for the record? Is that what this is about, huh? Huh? Of interrupting me. No. OK, well, one more like that, and that's all it'll take. Right, OK. <laughs> See any more? And the professor's loyal assistant, Penny, informed him of an exciting discovery. Professor, Professor! Penny? A feral man man. found in the Andes. I don't believe it. And they flew out immediately to see their remarkable find. There in front of the Professor was a human being untouched by civilization. It was like looking into the eyes of a caveman. He called him... Adam. And they lived happily ever after, right? Don't think for a moment I'm letting that one go. Back home, the press were all over the discovery. Adam was the oldest feral man ever discovered. It was believed he had lived in the wild for at least 20 years. It was big news all over the world. The Professor and Penny worked tirelessly studying the primitive man. Being is quite extraordinary behavior. Penny often warned her boss that he needed to take a break. But the Professor was too engrossed in his work to worry about such mundane things as his health. I'll be fine, thank you, thank you. Your health is your wealth. And that, sir, is another. As the months passed, Adam was beginning to trust his captors and began to respond to their tests in a remarkable way. His learning curve was quite amazing. He he was like an empty vessel ready to be filled with wondrous information. (laughs) Let's hope that's all the professor was planning to fill him with. (laughs) did it again, didn't I? Uh Mm. A trust was beginning to be established between Adam and the professor. And when he called the professor... Father. For the first time, it it brought a tear to the old man's eyes. He couldn't help but look upon this primal human being as the son he never had. And then disaster struck. (laughs) The cheeky girls attempted yet another comeback. We are the cheeky girls. We are the cheeky no. girls. We... The <sighs> professor fell ill. He had indeed pushed himself too hard. The late nights working and the erratic meal times had caught up on him. And pneumonia at his age can be fatal. I'm dying. We all know that. I'm so proud of you, Adam. Changed my life and my plans. For years I've been avoiding those money grabbers. I plan to donate all my money to research. But now, you're the only family I've ever had. It's all yours, Adam. My purest Adam. 
A tear rolled down the professor's face as he passed silently away. Adam, too, cried, but his were tears of joy. Well, maybe being a wild fella and all, he just didn't understand what had happened, eh? Oh, Adam understood perfectly and embraced Penny passionately. <laughs> she liked a bit of rough, did she, huh? Yeah, that's the whole point, Rog. He wasn't a bit of rough at all. What? No, he... He was Penny's actor boyfriend. Jesus. And they had both plotted the elaborate scam to get the money off the old geezer. She had put her life into the academy and was damned if she wasn't going to get some of his deathbed money. Oh, <laughs> scheming cow, huh? <laughs> so did they shag like dirty monkeys over at the professor's still warm corpse, huh? Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> uh, no. Right. <clears throat> so, by my calculations, that one included, just... Despite a uh, due warning, you interrupted me no less than eight times. It wasn't eight times, huh? Mm. <sighs> you see, viewers are always saying to me, though, that I do be having them in stitches with me little interjections and all. When oh, I'd... they do, do they? Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it would just be you and your stupid-ass stories with no crack whatsoever. That's what they'd be saying. Right. Yeah! Oh! Ah! 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 Now I have you in stitches, huh? Now that's funny. <laughs> oh, look what's on. It's your favorite show, Raj. Yeah. You know the way I never let you watch it, huh? Well, I'll let you watch it tonight. Oh, dear, I forgot your eyes are stitched shut. <laughs> What's that? I can't understand a word. Just, oh, your mouth stitched shut, is it? Well, that's a shame. Yeah, if you don't shut up, I'll have to stitch your hole as well. Uh, straight ahead. <laughs> ah, this isn't the bathroom.